When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? There's no, like, shareholders in our wedding. I don't have to be accountable to anybody. I mean, really, who cares? It's not right that here, big of a deal. The budget cares. The budget holder cares. Look, I don't know what to say. Like, Rory, really? Like, this was your idea. You wanted to decorate the room at the resort. It's a big room. We need all of this stuff. There's nothing to cut. I'm telling you. Everything's in. Weddings are a start to the days ahead. Weddings are a dance with the nearly undead. Weddings can cost you a whole lot of bread. Meet newlyweds Rebecca and Rory. The trip to their wedding day was filled with terrifying costs and creepy overspending. Let's tread lightly behind this scary couple as they creep through their savings and bring a slow death to their budget. My name is Rebecca. I'm a 30-year-old supply analyst. I met my fiance Rory, an IT manager, on the elevator in the building we both lived in. After months of seeing each other in passing, we finally connected, and before we knew it, we were on our way to matrimonial bliss. This is the story of how we treated ourselves to the sweetest Halloween of our lives. Our wedding day was amazing. I, I can't believe it. Everything just fell into place so nicely. We were on schedule all day. The ceremony, the food, the dancing, the entrance, like everything was perfect. Their wedding may have been perfect, but the trip there was a nightmare. Let's turn back the clock and see if this couple's spending makes their savings give up the ghost. My expectations of the wedding planner was that I would have somebody who could help me referee between the two of us because I needed someone with good taste that could put the kibosh on all of Rory's insane Halloween ideas. And I needed someone who could put the kibosh on all of Rebecca's insane spending ideas. Here's wedding planner Karina Lemke. Karina's had 14 years experience helping couples create their perfect weddings. But will this Halloween couple leave her shaking in her boots? My role as a wedding planner is to really help the couple come to a really good cohesive vision, help keep them on budget, and make sure that each one gets what they want. So do you want to fill me in on the details? Tell me about the grand vision. For sure. I've always imagined like a fall wedding, you know, the autumn colors, maybe the leaves are turning, you know, something just I don't know. Autumnal, really seasonal and pretty. Exactly. And... Yeah, yeah, but the cool thing is, though, we found the hall, and it's a 15% discount if you actually do it on Halloween. So uh, it's going to be a fall wedding on, on Halloween, Halloween. So with a little Halloween in it. So the only reason that you took the date was because you were getting a discount. That's right. Yes. You know, we talked it out, and we decided that um, it would be OK to get married on Halloween. We would yeah. just, we would maintain the fall theme. If a regular wedding was like 100% bridal, mm -hmm. is this like 15% Halloween to match the 15% discount? I'm gonna have to bring that down. 5% Halloween? Barely anything, you barely notice it. When I say Halloween or when we say Halloween, we mean the kids can wear costumes to the reception. Yeah, we don't want them to lose their Halloween. But the ceremony is off limits. No Halloween can touch the okay. ceremony. Nothing in the ceremony. Yeah, the ceremony needs to be, you know, classic, traditional, you know, no Halloween whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, let's pick another traditional element, a wedding cake. Well, actually, Rory's mother has been nice enough to uh, volunteer to make our cake, which is yes, great. We're going to have a traditional Jamaican, Jamaican black, black cake. cake. Since we've got money in the cake budget, there was a line cake and there was a dollar figure with it. I that thought, we get back. well, no, actually, I thought we could get a groom's cake. You could do anything you want for that, right? right. That's, it's a touch of whimsy. Exactly. And it's a touch of whimsy in exactly the right place. Yeah. It's in a very small, contained, happy place where you'll take a photo of it. It'll look fantastic, but it's not going to be in every photo. That's right. Well, uh, tell Karina about the photo booth. 
Right, so it took me a little while, but I convinced Rory that a photo booth would be a ton of fun at the wedding. They're fantastic. They're always they're always good times. People love them. So, I mean, I was thinking because, you know, Rory got us on this Halloween thing, that it would be awesome if we went and rented some Halloween-type costumes, well, you know. Like, not necessarily rented, but like, you know, some the Halloween dollar store costumes, like some glasses and dollar store hats and stuff like that. This is the It'll dollar store guy. No. It's a photo booth. It'll look good on the photo. Booth. Okay, so we've got a photo booth, we've got yes. costumes. Yeah. I'm sort of hearing two things here because I've got a bride who wanted a really autumnal wedding, very fall, very, very pretty and rich. Yes. And then I'm also hearing a little bit of Halloween, Halloween, <laughs> Halloween, Halloween. Just, just a little bit. No, I just, I, it's one thing. It's well, like one thing, really. You can't get married without a dress, so do you have that yet or do you have no, a lead on it? I don't have a dress yet. I'm really looking forward to going shopping. I mean, I just have that vision of like the big, traditional, you know, white dress. Well, you get a cool black dress, too. What? Yeah, it's because it's, you know, getting married on Halloween. You could get a black dress and get away with it. Get a black dress for what? Well, you know, for the wedding. For the wedding. Well, it's a suggestion. It's a crazy suggestion. Well, She's not possible. a bride of Satan. She is a bride of Rory. You know, it's more of a suggestion. If the bride walks down the aisle in a black dress, that is not a little bit of Halloween. Oh that is God. like Halloween to the extreme. OK, yeah. Yeah, no, then it's gone. It's, like, then we're hanging cobwebs from the ceiling. No. Cobwebs. No. So in terms of the wedding budget, who ultimately is paying for this? Well, we're paying for well, the wedding, right? I'm paying 90% of the wedding. She's basically responsible for her attire. Everything else is, 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 is me. It's true, so we're paying for the wedding. Like, we're, well, yeah. I'm paying for the wedding. Okay, yes, so Rory's paying for most of the wedding. And you're responsible for your attire. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm paying for everything, you know, my shoes, my dress, my hair, makeup, veil, whatever. Everything that goes into making me look my best. And then we have the savings from actually getting married on yeah, Halloween. Yeah, you said you saved like 15% yeah. off, off the regular package price, and you would yeah. have gotten married there anyway. Right. Because you love the space so much. So we're going to take those savings back, and, and uh, no. there we go. No, honey, you gave me a number and said I could have that number. Yeah, but then we have savings. No, there was no savings. There was a bottom line. No, no, because you had everything budgeted. Now we have savings. We have the pot, and anything over and that pot is pretty much there. I'm spending the whole pot. The biggest source of conflict between Rory and I when planning this wedding is going to be the budget. It's going to be where I want to spend money and where Rory wants to save. As far as being budget conscious goes, I'm budget conscious. Rebecca doesn't even know what those words mean. And what's the point of a budget if you keep going over? Right. I, be I, a miracle wedding where we stay on budget. I don't know. It's a guideline. Budget. It's a it's a guideline. Like it's a, not a guideline. It's a budget. No, it's a guideline. If it was a guideline, they would call it a guideline. They call it a budget. It's a budget. No. But and we have savings. There's no like shareholders in our wedding. I don't have to be accountable to anybody to no, say. No, but you actually have the chairman of the board here. He is <laughs> chief. Seriously, That's he's right. he's chief financial officer. He may be CFO, but I'm like the CEO. I'm like, the one I'm who's in signing, control here. I'm the one who's signing the checks. I'm the one who's going to decide what happens on uh, what happens in our wedding. So let me see if I've got your vision correct. You're having a beautiful fall-themed wedding at a gorgeous resort, and it just happens that it's on Halloween, so we're keeping the Halloween touches to a minimum. Is that right? Yep. That said, uh, do you have a budget, and may I see it? Yeah. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? OK, so this is like the trick part of Trick or Treat, right? Coming up. Does Bank of Rory give out debit cards to everybody? Because yeah, I wouldn't mind signing up. Everybody, he gives out money to me and to our wedding. It's simple, guys. Well, it was pretty, pretty meticulous in what she wanted and how it had to be done. That's why I just stayed out of the way. I knew what I wanted, and I wanted it done my way. And that's what we ended up with, and it turned out really good. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, like, nasty about any of it. When it comes to disagreeing about your wedding, don't resort to name-calling. I don't know, it's a guideline. It's a, it's a guideline. Like it's a, not a guideline, it's a budget. No, it's a guideline. If it was a guideline, they would call it a guideline. They call it a budget. It's a budget. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if this couple spent their money carefully or if their budget called it quits. 
Corey really wanted me to get into the Halloween spirit. So to be a good sport, I brought my bridesmaid Janice and my sister Brenda to look into some not so traditional options when it came to uh, my wedding dress. Hi. Hi there. I'm Rebecca. Hi, Diana DeNovo. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So Diana, I'm here because I'm getting married on Halloween. Oh, fantastic. Yes. So I was just wondering, you know, what do you, uh, what do you have in the way of a black Wedding dresses. Black wedding dresses. Well, I do have some black dresses here. They're uh, custom corset gowns. Maybe the budget is too tight for corsets. I'd probably recommend this one for you here. <gasps> what do you think? I love that. Oh, That's wow. beautiful. I love it. It's very simple, easy to wear again after the wedding. Yeah, you know what? You could, you could totally rock this like. I with could a totally pair of borrow jeans. it. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna borrow my wedding dress? <laughs> yeah. You're not borrowing my wedding dress. No one would know. I mean, I could cool. almost picture this for some crazy, <laughs> bizarre reason. I could almost picture this, so I'd love to try it on. All right, let's go try it on. Very you. good. Uh, wait, shouldn't we be discussing price first? Oh my God, that's Ow, gorgeous. You look amazing, guys. Look at my. That Wait! Oh my god! So hot! These boobs look awesome! I can't believe how much I love this dress. It's Me gorgeous. too. I love it. You gotta get it. This particular dress is $700. Wow, that's, and that's not entirely bad. That's custom just, you know, $700 is a great price. And it's custom fit. I think it's amazing. It. I mean, the dress is hot. I still need to try on like a white dress. What like for? A, Why? Well, because, you know, like, this is I'm trying to picture myself walking down the aisle in this dress, and it's like, I, I don't know, guys. Like, well, what about two dresses? You could walk down the aisle wait, in the wait white a minute, dress. Wait a minute. I Rebecca, like the way you think that. No, <laughs> Rebecca, <laughs> money. We don't even know what's out there. You're assuming we're over budget already. Like, you always do I this. know you. We haven't even tried on any. I'm sure we'll find something in budget. It'll be fine, who cares? Honestly, whatever. If I need a little bit of extra money to pay for two dresses, I'll just get Rory to pitch in. What? Yeah, it's fine. Does Bank of Rory give out debit cards to everybody? Because yeah, I wouldn't mind signing No, not everybody. He gives out money to me and to our wedding. It's simple, guys. This is for Rory's Halloween-themed wedding. So he'll have no problems if he needs to pitch in a little bit. It's really not a big deal. Rory might think doubling your dress budget is a big deal. Anyways, like, I love this hat. Like, how much is this hat? That hat is uh, 110. 110? Oh my god. Can, can you help me put this on, please? And so oh it god. begins. For our centerpieces, Rory and I really wanted something interactive that our guests could go from table to table. You know, trick or treating. Yeah, so we asked Karina to put something together that we could consider. Oh dear, a little show and tell. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Like it? Look. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. So it was a bit of a challenge because we were trying to combine two elements. One was, you know, beautiful adult wedding party in the fall using fall colors, right? So hence the centerpiece here. So we've got really autumnal colors. Roses, like these ones you like, right? Oh, I love those. So, it and is then, pretty. Ta-da, we've got kid yeah. stuff. Hey, candy. But could the price get sticky? I just thought it was sort of the most elegant way to kind of do the candy thing, because I tried a few different things, none of them worked. This seemed to be the best option. Yeah, it's it's great, but uh, like, what are we talking price-wise here? Like, it it looks expensive. This is in sort of the 60-ish dollar range. Okay. Then you add the 60. candles, and then you add the vases with the candy, and that brings your total up to about $85 per table. $85 per table? Yes, so the map... Per table. There's the trick. Now where's the treat? No, I love it. I really love it. It's, it's great. It's way it's out of range for budget. Look, I, I brought some stuff just to do a little show and tell here. This is you his know, idea. Just some other options to discuss. And by other, Rory means cheaper. Check this out. Check <gasps> this one out. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Tasteful? Rory, Tasteful? Taste. Check it out. See? Huh? <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, oh. So, what, what, see, what is the hygienic. opposite of tasteful? Like, There's another bonus, $15 per. It's really cute. I just don't think it's necessarily for this party. I, okay, okay. You know what? I got another option. Let me let me just move my wicked centerpiece yeah. over here. Is that here. the uh, garbage bag option? Yeah, watch. Check this out. Like anything that comes out of a garbage bag, like I'm a little bit... Apprehensive about? Oh, God. Goblets. Check it out, see? You know... And then... Uh, we take... Yep, then we take yeah. the candles. Candles? I think that, yeah. I mean, we're looking at it there's in bright light. There's something there, right? Yeah. Well, okay, wait a second before we get too excited. The price on this. They were $34 each with the candy. Like, the whole thing. That's almost a third of the price. I know, but 
I mean, this Almost is just... Almost a third of the price. I understand, honey. Why can't we just save a bit on the centerpieces? I mean, really, who cares? It's not right that here, big of a deal. the budget cares. No, I mean... <laughs> this is the budget. The budget holder cares. Maybe this is the right way to go. It's a tremendous savings. Come on, honey, you just bend a bit. Come on, like, it's... it's it's great. He's just not making you do bend. this. I know. I'm, I mean, I was just looking at that. I, and I love that. Just can you just bend a bit? You it's actually about, put that at our wedding. It's about compromise. Come on. Yeah, we'll go with it. I mean, I really do like it. Yes. You did really good. We were really excited that Rory's mother graciously offered to make us our traditional Jamaican wedding cake. But I also wanted something fun, reflective of our personalities. So we took my bridesmaid Janice and our groomsman Scott to see some non-traditional wedding cake options. Oh. That does look Oh good. my god. Guys, look at this one. Now that is a piece of art. Wow. Oh. Jen, you made this by hand? I did, yes. Everything. Everything is made by hand. So are we paying hand over fisk? I like that cake, but I like this smaller one too. The smaller one. Oh, I mean that looks and this really cute. One, and I really like the cupcakes. They're so cute, so I know. So we can have, like, groom's cupcakes. How many are you thinking, Rory? Two? Well, yeah, I mean, but I was actually, like, thinking something like that would be, like, really, really awesome. Like, that really fits into your Halloween theme. How much would that cake be for, you know, 185 guests? Uh, it would be about uh, $820. That's oh, $820, that's, that's, that's come on. That's good, that's good. for oh, a cake like that with all those details. But we have yeah. two cakes. Yeah, but but honey, like there's so much detail. That is like part of the decor. It's part of your Halloween theme. It's like a show stopping. It's a groom's cake. It should be smaller than your other cake. I, I don't understand where you think you're going to have money to spend. Because when we had this in the budget, I didn't know that Rory's mom was going to make us. I didn't even know Rory's mom could make cakes, never mind that she can make us like a beautiful wedding cake. How come we can't take savings and move forward with that? Like, what what if we got it smaller? How much How much was it for 50 people? 180. And how much, okay, All right, what? No, but, I mean, that's too small. I mean, 50 people, like, Could we've got 185 people. Size in between, like. Okay, so that's 50. Mm -hmm. Double that would be 100. 100, yeah. Rebecca's good at math for someone who doesn't understand money. Okay, so how much is it for 100? It'd be 440. Yes, Let's... it's under budget, right? It's under the budget. Hooray, one thing. <laughs> could, could we uh, customize this more, right? Absolutely, yes. Could we maybe move, like, the shovel and put it in the bride's... Absolutely, yes. yes. Yeah. Make it look like she's digging him out. No, yeah. putting him put down it. there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean... Maybe bury could... the budget while you're at it. Oh. I mean, <laughs> this is so awesome. Everybody is going to go over the moon for this cake. is amazing. Like, this is all part of your Halloween theme that you wanted. And, and I gave say, in rip to... My, rip my bachelorhood. Rest in peace, Rory's bachelorhood. It is pretty cool. It's so cool. I mean, she did such an amazing job on this cake. It's edible and it's decor at the same time. Like, it's amazing. Like, it's two in one. All right, done. Yeah. Done, fine. <laughs> Coming up. You have like blown whatever sort of cushion you had in for the budget. Do you see where I'm going with this? I don't think I've blown the whole cushion. Oh, pretty right? much, you've blown the whole cushion. My husband, who he says he was so exhausted and out of it, was walked all over the back of the dress. So I had all these black footprints all over the train of my dress. So those are the things I remember about my wedding dress. You can prove that. When it comes to spending on your wedding, it's important to keep an eye on your cash flow. Whatever, if I need a little bit of extra money to pay for two dresses, I'll just get Rory to pitch in. Does Bank of Rory give out debit cards to everybody? Because yeah, I wouldn't mind signing up. everybody. He gives out money to me and to our wedding. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if the cash kept flowing or the spending gushed out of control. I wanted to go with a traditional wedding dress when it came to walking down the aisle. So I brought my bridesmaid Janice and my sister Brenda to come shopping for traditional wedding dresses. Were you looking for something more fitted or something a I little think, poofier, more A-line? Yeah, something A-line, something okay. poofy. You know, I want the I want the crinoline, you know, maybe some lace, again, some beading, strapless. I don't know, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll find something. I'm sure you'll find something. Something expensive. Oh, 
Oh, Rebecca, that's perfect. Look. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'm not it's having perfect. a $250 dress. <laughs> It'll fit in. Is. That would work for your wedding just fine, mm. miss, but not mine. <laughs> it's within for... budget. Yeah. That is like, excuse me, there's a budget, and then there's like way yeah, under budget. Are you just not looking at it because I said it was $250? I'm not looking at it because it's tacky. Let's see how much this one is because that's pretty um, sexy. And that could be costly. This one is three thousand five hundred. Uh, yeah, don't even consider it because yeah. if you try it on and you like it, then you're gonna have to buy oh, it. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, we have to. Yeah, no, so I'd like to one? try that one. Sure, that looks really good. Oh, wow. wow, it's not bad. It's pretty. It you're not having that. Wow. Yeah, and what the sad part is that it's the right price. It is. Rory may think that's the happy part. 600 for this dress, then it was 700 for the black dress. So you're looking at 13. 1300. We were looking at paying. That's your right. Budget. In that's budget. Perfect. That's right? actually like the max budget. So what's the problem? Know. The problem is we're I don't. shopping. I know. The problem is I don't yeah, love it. How much to... is that dress? This one here is 13.99. Yo, who picked that one up? I did. Here's the second dress. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Nice. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Really nice. This is perfect. It's oh got everything God. you want. It, it does. Bad. Like this is just like, oh my God. Like perfect, 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 perfect. Are you prepared to pay that kind of money though? You are, like, I will talk to Rory. We will find the money in the budget somewhere. Rory will understand. He won't mind. You do realize I'll how much over it is. And I'll just you you know, get Rory dress. to reimburse me for the other dress. What? Yeah, it's fine. Rory's fine. I think we'll have to see about that. Well, I'm going to buy this dress right now, and then when I get home, I'm just going to give Rory the receipt for the $700 dress, and he'll be fine. He'll just... But reception. he's as budget conscious as I am, and I'm saying, like... I know, yeah, I know. You're both you cheap, are... but whatever. Wow. Like, he'll be fine. <laughs> when he sees it, he'll forget all about the cost. You know what? <laughs> exactly. See? She knows. She's a professional. I don't know. It was his idea to have a Halloween wedding. His idea for the black dress, he has to pay for the black dress. I thought I was gonna pay for it, but now I know I'm paying for this dress and Rory's paying for the other dress. He'll be fine. I mean, it really is a beautiful dress. It looks great on you, but you still- But nothing. This is my dress. Thank you. I really wanted some entertainment to kick up the Halloween theme that Rory had. So I brought my bridesmaid, Janice, and Karina to check out this terrific idea that I had for the wedding. I want to just run over there, press play, and you can check out the all action, right, awesome. all right? Yes. All right, cool. Oh, they look really cool. This is so not wedding-ish. I know. It's OK. It's OK. The lights blacking out. We're gonna picture fog on the floor. All of a sudden, lights come on. We're gonna picture dancers on the stage, and boom, boom, boom. Uh, how much does the do the undead charge? I guess is the question that I have. It's two hundred dollars per dancer. Choreography is about four hundred dollars for the choreography for one performance. I'm like picturing them like even bigger than double their size. Like there's, <laughs> there's, there's five of them right now. I'm thinking like something around twelve or something. Like fantastic. Right. The more the merrier. Yeah. Yes, and the more the costlier. That's twenty four hundred plus four hundred for choreography. You said. Yes. So that's almost $3,000. It's $2,800. Okay. Rory is going to freak out if you spend $2,800. You might even send him to an early grave. No, I don't really think he's going to freak out because I you think... You don't think he's going to no, freak out? No, because this is what he wants. Like, he wanted the Halloween He said theme. he wanted dancers and he well, no, but wanted to shell out he money. Said, he said, Rebecca, why don't you go out and spend $2,800? <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> no, you guys are horrible. No, he I wanted... don't mind. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm a little apprehensive because you originally didn't want a Halloween themed wedding. Right. And you, you but like, now I'm like, you I'm on board. Let's I know, do but it. you enlisted me. You were like, please don't let it be Halloween. Please don't let it be Halloween. Don't touch my ceremony and don't make it Halloween. Okay, and we now still can't touch the ceremony. No, and well, why not have them walk in? For no, stop, stop, stop. We're not going that far. All the money that you have now saved by having it on the Halloween wedding, which was the date that you actually didn't want, you have now spent $2,700, $2,800, whatever it is for this. 
is way too much money. You have like blown whatever sort of cushion you had in for the budget. Do you see where I'm going with this? I don't think this? I've blown the whole cushion. Oh, Karina. pretty much. You've blown the whole cushion. I'd say Rebecca's blown the cushion and the entire coach. But come the wedding day and these guys come out and they do their thing, then he'll be happy. He's gonna love it. And when he gets the bill, he's gonna freak out again. <laughs> we saw five dancers. Yeah. What if we took it up to like a, maybe six, just added one more just for a little bit of texture and kept the budget at a reasonable level? Okay, so. 1,200 plus a bit of choreography is just over 1,500. Right. 1,500 can be squeaked in places. Almost 3,000 can't be just slid in there. I will give you my blessing. Okay. If, if you want it on, on the dancers, if you go sort of halfway. But I don't think I don't think you can have a full chorus line, honey. I can incorporate the bridal party into a clip of the dancing or a piece of the. So it'll be really interactive. It'll be a lot of fun for your, awesome. you know, friends and family who are in the bridal party. You guys are gonna have a great time as well. Yeah, and this is the girl who didn't want a Halloween wedding. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's true. I didn't, but now, now vision, I'm, I mean, I see happens, stuff like right? this, and that now I get how it's how it's fun. Her imagination has been quickened. Yes, <laughs> and her budget has been less. <laughs> <laughs> Lori and I brought a couple of our friends to check out some costume options to go with our photo booth at the wedding reception. Oh, options. You wanted way more than just options. <gasps> oh, my <laughs> God. Don't you love these? You know what? These would be awesome. If we can get, like, uh, a couple of these, this would be awesome, like one or two or three or whatever. No, 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 no. like, more. Yeah, we need more than one or two, because then, like, all the pictures will be the same, like, one or two costumes. Uh, okay, all right, hold on. How much? <laughs> Between seventy-five and a hundred dollars. That's head to him. How many of these things do you want, though? <sighs> like eight. Like not a eight. lot. Yeah. I think it's great. Don't worry about it. Let's just try and more stuff, and we'll see how we feel. Like you know, I know Scott wants to try and stuff. Look, I, that's fine. And, and, but I'm not sure if I want this at the wedding. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> he needs to change. I can't wait to see what he's putting on next. This is a lot of fun. No. Oh, wow. What do you think, that's right? Wow. Nice. You look. It's oh, cute, right? Yes. Obviously, yeah. I know this is my idea. Like, yeah. And I love the fact that you're like into it. Yes, with me. it is. Yeah, you're yes. totally into it. I get it. Let's do it. But honey, really, like budget wise alone, like we're already over on so many things. Like, I know. If you're gonna spend a thousand bucks, maybe twelve hundred dollars. Plus it's whatever else not extra. That bad. Plus whatever else extra that we're gonna throw in to get headshots about yay high and accessories. What do you mean we, an accessory? Look, we get a couple things. Instead of like the full shebang, we get a couple hats, we get a pink wig like this, we get some gloves. Oh, so those are the glasses. Just and glasses, that uh, like fake cigars, you know. I really love the costumes, though. Well, honey, I get it, I get it. Elizabeth, look, uh, we've got a photo booth, right? And the photo booth does kind of like headshots, and, and what I'm looking for is like accessories for like the head, like glasses, hats, Absolute, things like that. Absolutely doable. Okay. What, what sort of price range would you like to work in? A hundred bucks. No, <laughs> come on. Well, you gotta hear what you can get for a hundred dollars. We could we could easily give you a, a dozen or so things for that sort of price. I really did enjoy putting this costume on, but this is actually a lot easier yeah, to do. Yeah, we'll save the costume for the anniversary. And more importantly, save the money for the future. I don't know, I suppose we could just work out some accessories. So, you know what, yeah, mix and match. So, Elizabeth, we're gonna take like, the 12 pieces. Absolutely, we can do a great mix and match for you. It's okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna go change it. You guys start picking out some stuff. Excellent. Coming up. I am not paying for it. Okay. You, look, you are just gonna have to take care of it. Well, you're the can't. one who signed the contract. I have a really funny father, and he's been married about four times. And he said the best way to get married, he lives in the United States, he said the best way to get married is go down to City Hall because they give you a toothbrush, toothpaste, and a box of Tide. And a box when of you get Tide. married, so... <laughs> oh, that Starts was you off with clean teeth, teeth and clean clothes. When it comes to spending on your wedding, you may have to lower your standards in order to save money. Bring in budget. Yeah. That is like, excuse me, there's a budget and then there's like way yeah, under budget. Are you just not looking at it because I said it was 250 I'm not looking at it because it's tacky. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this bride spent below her budget or let her spending go through the roof. Once I was on board with the Halloween theme, I really wanted to step it up a few notches. So I brought Rory, our friend Scott, and my cousin Dorian to check out a carnival haunted house ride. That was awesome, guys. You know what? Like, I'm thinking we need to get this for the wedding. I don't even think you're gonna rent these things. Yeah, of course you can. It's a carnival. They rent rides. I like it. I get it. 
It's way too much money. No, no. How can you say it's way too much money when you don't I know, know yet? I was going to say, we don't even know. Okay, hold that thought. I'm going to go find somebody, and we'll see what they say. Okay. Uh, this is Amber. Hi. Hi, Dorian. Hey, Dorian. Can you please tell my fiance and her friend that the, the ride's not available? Yeah, no, of course the ride's available. Available for? We, we wanted to rent this for our wedding, like put it on the parking lot at the venue. Unfortunately, we don't rent rides or equipment. It's, it's, it travels on a 52-foot semi-trailer. It takes four people to assemble. I get it. Nothing you know, is not available. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Everything Seriously. The price. Seriously. Yes, and I'm sure the groom would pay to have you be quiet. No, everything does not have a price. <laughs> and every wedding has a budget. Every wedding has a budget. Scott and I will build something for this wedding. Yeah? Yeah. We will build You're, something. Sorry, build something? Yeah. It will be like awesome, cool like this, but it'll be like pretty cool, like haunted room or something super cool haunted like that. Haunted room. Be a little bit more practical to do the room because to, to rent an attraction like this from anybody would probably be around twenty thousand dollars. Twenty. Okay. Twenty thousand dollars. Cost wise, look, there's that party planning store in Nova. We will get some super cool stuff at the party planning. So we'll all go. We'll go. We'll look at the cool stuff, and then we'll build a wicked haunted walk. Well, that sounds like the lesser of two evils. All right. All right. Deal. I thought taking Rebecca and her sister Brenda out for Halloween decor shopping would be just a breeze. Oh, yes, dear. Very easy breezy. All right. Here we are, Tombstone Isle. Oh, look at that. I know, I know. What are you putting in there? How much is that? $30. What? Ow. Sorry. Holy crap, man. I don't know. What are we, uh, what are we at? I mean, you got cool stuff. $2,753 right now. It looks like this couple's budget is rapidly decomposing. Oh my God, Rory, look. Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. This is it, this is what we need, look. And look. how much is that? 250. 250? Add that to your calculator, we no, need no, that. No, 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 don't add that to the calculator. Well, yeah. No, what? that's $250. Well, so that's 3000 Three dollars right now. Plus, you have to add the taxes on that. That's ridiculous. What are you gonna do with all this stuff? Stop! Stop! Let's pull this back. Let's 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 put some stuff back, and let's get this no. down to something reasonable, like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars or something. What? Look, I don't know what to say. Like, Rory, really? Like, this was your idea. You wanted to decorate the room at the resort. It's a big room. We need all of this stuff. Well, like, I didn't think I didn't think it would cost this much. It's a total pain. Like, I, I don't have the time for this wait, stuff. Wait, wait. I have I mean, no idea wait. what I'm supposed to do. Do you want to do this? Junk. No, I don't. I don't want to do this, but... Okay, well, I don't want to pay for it, so I think we're on the same page here. That's a first. This was fun and everything, but $3,000, like, we're done. Done. I don't know, shouldn't we put this stuff back? No, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Who left all this stuff here? This is just wrong. Karina invited Rory and I to have a sit-down discussion about the budget, and Rory was all too happy to help her out. So it's reality check time, guys, but it's kind of an essential part now because we're just getting into the final stretch of the we wedding. We have to talk about this. Yes. We do. It's called full disclosure. Okay. There have been things that have crept up. You know, we've got some fixed costs that we can't get around on the wedding, but then there are a lot of um, sort of uh, uh, Halloween touches. Yeah, our Halloween creep turned into Halloween crazy. Like, I don't know. Well, I mean, you it'll know, be good. It'll, it'll be, be lots fun. of fun. It'll it's Halloween. Yeah. yeah. And your wedding, but I mean, we've it's also. It's a Halloween wedding. Great. Um, the dress. I found the most perfect dress. It's exactly what I always imagined. And I also got a black dress for the reception. Like black, like Halloween black? Yes. Yes, it's a Halloween oh, wedding yeah. dress. That is so cool. Yeah. You're excited. Yeah, totally. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome, because I'm going to need you to pay for it. Well, that put a little cold water on his excitement. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, no. No, really. It, no, no, no. Well, look. No, no, the deal was I pay for the wedding, you pay for the attire. I know, when I paid for my own dress, I did. I but paid now you've for... got dress number two. Yes, and it's, I got it for Rory. No, no, no. you got it for yourself. No, yeah. I got it for Rory. No, because if you got it for Rory, you would have paid for it yourself. How exactly. about this? If we have money left in the budget, if we're not over, which my guess is we won't because oh, I don't think we're under at this point. I think we're over. No, I'm sorry. I gotta stop. Sure. No, I gotta stop you both there. You, you're only supposed to take care of one thing through this whole wedding. That is attire. You take care of your attire. I'm sorry. 
That's your responsibility. I don't know, Rory. I really think you should pay for it. Rebecca, did it, we just, did it go on your credit card? Yes. Well, you paid for you it paid already. For it. Let's move on to a nicer topic, like entertainment. So I know we've got the string duo. So moving on to other topics for the entertainment. What other topics for the entertainment? Okay, it's not much. It's not much at all. Check it out. So, Karina and I went, we took Janice, and we went to this, like, entertainment, you know, dance center. And oh, I, boy. yeah, wait until you see this. It's amazing. How much? Okay, <laughs> like, just a little bit. It's like $200 per dancer. How many dancers? Okay, there was, like, six dancers. We said six, right? Six answers. So twelve hundred dollars. Well, plus. I mean, yeah. So plus what? Well, you have to pay for the choreography, right? Like, so we, it was just like a choreography. S yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it custom. Custom, like go oh, custom. Four hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars, but we're the entertainment. No. Oh. Yeah, watching you argue is quite entertaining. Once again, I should remind you guys, we saved a ton of money. It's called savings for a reason. And it's called spending for a reason too. I am not paying for look, it. You, look, you're just going to have to take care of it. Well, you're I the can't. one who signed the contract. No, I understand. But I mean, we'll just talk about it later because really, like, I don't have the money. It's done. Like, it's just, sorry. Some things are going to need to be cut or else you're going to be way over. So I don't know if it's going to be the black dress. I don't no. know if it's going to be the groom's cake. No. Nope. I don't know if it's going to be the dancers, but you're going to have to actually maybe make some serious changes. It's all in. It's all part of the package. Uh, we'll find something to cut. Mm-mm. Mm there's nothing to cut. I'm telling you, everything's in. Coming up. We weren't gonna break into the house, just, just break onto the property. Okay, there's no fences or anything you have to nope. climb over, you just walk up. Like Can you, you imagine, like... that would be fun. The weather, as I said, hit a 90 degree record high in I don't know how many X years. So when we went to the church, I had those beautiful curls, and then when I left, all my curls had just gone. Drowned rat, really. You said I looked beautiful. No, well, honey, you look, you look great. It didn't matter what, you, what your hair, but I felt bad for you. Because you, it was... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you felt bad for no, me. No, I'm telling you, it was just hanging there. When it comes to calculating the cost of your wedding, you should at least go in with a rough idea. Look, I don't know what to say. Like, Rory, really? Like, this was your idea. You wanted to decorate the room at the resort. It's a big room. We need all of this stuff. Well, like... I didn't think... I didn't think it would cost this much. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple had a smooth ride or a rough time with their budget. My morning was great. Surprisingly, very relaxing. I got up in my beautiful suite, and the girls started arriving just one by one. We had the makeup artist, the hairstylist, you know, my parents showed up, everybody was coming in. It was a really great morning. Hi. Hi, I'm Happy wedding day. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You're beautiful. You're fine? Mm -hmm. Air kisses. Yes. So I just wanted to ask you, since it's dry, do you know what you're going to do for photos? Do you think you'll go into the historic town to if do some If it's dry, photos? there's actually a house in on the way to town that we wanted to try and raid. We'll see. I don't know if anyone made those arrangements for us or not. To try to raid? They've got, like, rubble. It's, I don't know, this big, huge piece of property, and they've got all this rubble, and it looks awesome, and there's leaves everywhere, and the house is awesome, awesome. So we went to knock on the door to ask if we could take pictures, and there was no one there. So we really, like hoping that if I show up in my big white dress, that they'll be like, of course, you can take pictures here. Okay. Um, we weren't going to break into the house, just, just break onto the property. Okay. There's no fences or anything you have to climb nope. over? You just walk up? Like, can you like... imagine? That would be fun. Strangely enough, the morning of the wedding, I was actually emotional. I don't usually get that way. I just really couldn't wait to get married. Happy wedding day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Was he emotional about getting married or about missing a putt? It, you have to be back soon. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay, because it's like, it's like nearly, this is from Rebecca. Oh, this is lovely. Yes, yeah, you're to open it. That was the real sort of, I was supposed to go down to your room and deliver it to you, but you were not in your room. Oh, okay. Oh. I probably should have given him a private moment to do that. It's been private enough. Yeah. Is he crying? Not yet. Not yet. It's cloudy with a chance of tears. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So you guys are coming back soon, right? Yes, thank okay. you very much. Yeah, perfect. Good. Big smiles. 
We're gonna look happy because it's your bride's. Uh, <laughs> I, am, I am happy. <laughs> your, your daughter's wedding, and you're financially off the hook from now on. Which is to make any hey, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Rory's gonna take over paying all the bills now. I think that's already uh, started. She likes to shop. I've heard rumors. So <laughs> she, yeah. yeah, feel okay. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Comfortable? Yeah. yeah. No, you, look great. Nice. you look fantastic. Thank you. He hasn't got the bills yet. My no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not. No, not that. <laughs> It was a really exciting and emotional moment for me when I was walking down the aisle with my dad and I looked up and saw Rory waiting for me at the end of the aisle. It was just awesome. It was at that moment, I think that the whole wedding just made perfect sense. So beautiful. Thank you. Dear family and friends of Rebecca and Rory, we've been invited here today to share in a celebration of their love, which will unite their lives in marriage. I, Rory. I, Rory. Choose you, Rebecca. Choose you, Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Rebecca. I, Rebecca. Choose you, Rory. Choose you, Rory. To be my husband. To be my husband. I, Reverend Barbara Schreiner Trudell, do now pronounce you to be husband and wife. <laughs> you may kiss. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Coming up. Hey, hey. You said it was the direction we were going into, no? Yeah. Whatever way our heads look, I don't care. Okay, fine. No, sorry, but I don't understand. It's okay. He walked in and, and then they put the tape on, but it was the wrong song. And so we had to stop everything and run over and flip the tape over. Remember that? That's not what happened. Oh, yes, that's no, exactly what happened. They I couldn't play the song, so we had we... to have a waltz instead. There was no tape. When it comes to your wedding day, don't count on being the happiest person in the room. You're going to look happy because it's your bride's... Uh, your <laughs> I, I am happy. Your, your daughter's <laughs> wedding, and you're financially off the hook from now on. Which is nothing <laughs> any hey, that's great. And soon, we'll reveal if this couple had many happy returns, or if the bills came back to haunt them. After the ceremony, we went and did some photos, which was a lot of fun, mostly. We found some an abandoned house that we loved the grounds of, so we decided to go there after the ceremony and yeah. take some pictures. I don't know how abandoned that house was, but it was just perfect. Okay, so you're gonna pick her up, you're gonna fall back, kick those red shoes <laughs> up. Kick those red shoes up. Okay, no way, no, turn turn that way, Rory. Yeah, that's good. That's beautiful, ready, right there, good. <laughs> After our formal photographs, we had some time to go back to the suite so I could change into my black wedding dress. And, uh, you know, surprisingly, it was not too hard to get into. Loosen yours a little bit, Rory. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're gonna... <laughs> oh. Okay, now we're gonna tie them. Tied into a bow. Pretend we're tying laces. That was easy. Yeah, I married that. Oh yeah. You Look at this. Need to oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, before you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Five, six, six seven, 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 shoulders, head. Hands. You said it was the direction we were going into, no? Yeah, head, I don't hands. care. Whatever way our heads look, I don't care. Okay, fine. No, sorry, but I don't understand. It's okay. So Six. Turn. One. Bingo, yeah. And then it was time to let the undead games begin. and set the tone, and the dancers took it from there. tricks and treats, and the guests partied long into the eerie night. Oh my God, our wedding day has been so much fun. Awesome, incredible. 
I can't believe it. The guests are having such a good time. The Halloween theme has worked out so well. Our entrance was mind blowing. Everything has been so great. It was worth every single penny. There is no budget today. None. None. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. There may be no budget today, but you can bet there will be bills tomorrow. The original budget we handed to Karina was $35,000. I love my groom's cake. It was awesome. It was the perfect contrast to the wedding cake. It cost $440. The zombie dance troupe was amazing. They helped make our grand entrance even grander. The cost was $1,600. My jaw absolutely dropped when I saw Rebecca in both of her dresses, including alterations and accessories. They came to $2,668. It took a little convincing, but once I was on board with the Halloween theme, there was no stopping me. The decor, including centerpieces and linens, were $2,925. Our venue was the perfect backdrop to our Halloween-themed wedding, including food, alcohol, and the late-night crepe station. It came to $18,330. Karina was amazing. She held everything together before the wedding and on the day. Her wedding planning fee was $2,800. Miscellaneous costs, including costume rentals, the rings, and the DJ, came to $15,827. What we actually spent was $44,590. That puts us over budget by $9,590. $9,000. Oh, woman, you spent all our money. Oh, give me a break, Rory. It was your idea to have a Halloween-themed wedding. Well, you know what? We're very lucky we've got all that candy left over, because that's all we're going to be eating for the next month. Oh, my God. Give it a rest. It's over. The money's spent. It's done. The jack-o'-lanterns have burned. The treats have been devoured. And the zombies have cast their spell. The only question left is, for this couple, was it love at first bite? Well, it was a white cake with white icing. You don't know you're was, making uh, it up. Three levels. Uh, he's partially correct. And there was a bride and groom on top? Yes, John. Yes. Our parents did it all, and I'm surprised they didn't show up on the honeymoon. That would have been cool if they had. I guess they could have picked up a tab on something or other. <gasps> 